In today's episode of Willful, we spoke with Ricardo McRae, a painter turned vision activator. Ricardo was also the founder of Black in Canada, an organization that seeks to shift the popular narrative of black achievement in this country and around the world. You are the founder of an organization called Black in Canada, mm -hmm. um, and it celebrates excellence and achievement. Uh, in the black community. And I'm wondering why was it important for you to create this community? Hmm. This goes right back to probably the very first question or one of the first questions you asked me about challenges I faced in this country and continue to face as, as a human being. Everyone has challenges. I don't care who you are. I know everyone has a challenge. What I want to do is minimize mine. Yeah. I'm very selfish. <laughs> so I see the challenges that my community faces. I see the challenges. I experience my own uh, every day. And I created this to create a new vision in people's head because their ideas and expectations of me impact my life. So whether it is a Haut Carib that shifts your vision of what Trinidad is and what the fashion from that country looks like and how you position that next to New York and Paris and London. I'm like, what? Yeah, that's right. Everything's on that level. So I want to see my, I see myself on that level. I experience myself on that level. And I want other people to have that impression of me mm -hmm. and stop expecting less from me. Yes. Because I have to keep, you shouldn't be impressed that I own a company. Yeah. You know who I am? Like, that shouldn't impress you. Like, you should expect that from me. But because of those low expectations, I have to keep stepping that up and then finding ways to motivate myself. Like, I'm like, there's nobody pulling for greatness. Mm. Everybody's pulling for, for average and just enough. And I'm glad you graduated high school. I'm like, my family's been going to university for four generations. Like, what are you talking about? High school? Yeah. Who are you talking to? So. And who says that? <laughs> that is a very common, just about every person, black person that I've spoken to in Canada has said they've had that experience where teachers, educators were expecting less from them. Oh, little Hakeem is good with his hands. He should be a carpenter, not a surgeon. That changes your life. That low expectation has monumental impacts on your earning potential, on where you live, and for your community because of other people's expectations. And if you have enough of those lined up, mm -hmm. your little paper cuts, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you will bleed to death. At the end of the day, you will be a very skilled carpenter that could have been a surgeon and saved someone's life because somebody else didn't think you could do it. With Black in Canada, I'm wondering in what ways are you and the organization shifting the collective thinking on the contributions of Black Canadians to our community? 